Today we're going to be concluding the Avengers No Road Home storyline. To catch you up real quick, at the beginning of the No Road Home storyline, Olympus was destroyed by Nyx, the goddess of the darkness. You see, during the No Surrender storyline, the Earth was removed from the sight of the sun, and when it was removed, she was freed from the prison that she had been placed into by Zeus. We've now gone into the past, into a dream state world, and into a nightmare world, and our heroes have all been separated. And it's seemingly, the Avengers have been killed, as Nyx is now battling against Conan and the Scarlet Witch in Conan's world to try and get the stone that the Scarlet Witch in Conan has. Because once Nyx has all of the stones, she will have her true power and be able to conquer the universe. If you want to catch up on all of that by watching the videos initially, check out the description down below. We'll have a link to the full playlist. But if you're wondering where you are, well, this is the weird part of YouTube. The part of YouTube called Comic Storian, where I read you audio dramas of your favorite pop culture lore and comic books. We go through video games, movies, TV shows, and comic books, and break down the storylines into a complete story and read it back to you so that you can catch up on all of your favorite storylines. Today is Avengers No Road Home, 7 through 10. I hope you enjoy. Conan the Barbarian stands at the side of Scarlet Witch, his sword ready for combat. Before them stands Nyx, the mother of darkness, surrounded by her children. Come to me, shard of my soul. Tell me how to unlock you and reclaim my stolen power. The dark goddess says, her black hand reaching out, but behind her, the darkness is pushed away by a bright light as her children begin to dissolve, revealing them to be the heroes that were supposedly vanquished. Using her powers to manipulate the light spectrum, Monica has created a hologram image of Nyx's children around both Hercules and a vision. Spectrum lands in front of the goddess, allowing the horror of what has happened to sink in. My children, she screams as the reality of the fact that she killed her own children, not the heroes, dawns on her. Nyx begins to threaten Monica for what she did, but power cracks around her as Monica attacks, using ultraviolet light to match the power of the sun. You brought this on yourself! Nyx merely laughs as the heroes try to fight against her. She is not some mere vampire. The night sky holds the stars and the moon, refracting and weakening the sun itself. As their friend is knocked away, Hercules and Vision charge back into the fight. Back in the realm of dreams, though, Nightmare sits once again on his throne. Well, now this is fun, the deity states, yet he doesn't like having guests. Now that the realm is once again his, he can open up a portal anywhere that they want. Despite Rocket wanting to rob a bank, Clint knows that they need to find the others. Euphoria, the Hulk growls. It's a sentient world that gives everyone what they desire. You want to go on vacation? Now? Barton asks the Hulk, shocked. And Rocket agrees, he could always go for a vacation. Outvoted, the portal opens up behind them. Barton gives up, but he knows that the Hulk has plans. Hulk smiles, they're already having fun. Back in Shadazar, the battle continues as the buildings explode. Wanda is thrown clear, but luckily caught by Spectrum. Monica turns to go, asking Wanda to stay put since she still can't see. And anger flashes in the Scarlet Witch's voice as magic begins to swirl. I'm an Avenger, don't you sideline me, she snaps, but they can't risk it and Monica flies back into the battle. The fight continues as Hercules tries to attack the Mother of Darkness, but she is too strong and she prepares to bring her crystal shard down on his heart. Monica flies through her when suddenly Wanda is there stunning her as well. Well caught, Spectrum. Swing back around and launch me towards the Night Queen so that I may pummel her into dark dust. Hercules calls to his friend. Meanwhile, Vision is trying his best to aid those trapped under the rubble, his circuits continuing to degrade. What are you? Some kind of steel devil? Conan cries as he brings his axe against the android. Vision does not wish to hurt Conan, though, and merely stuns him with a blast. But Conan is durable and quickly staggers to his feet. Witches, golems, and now spirits! Are there any here who can be wounded by a man's blade? Spectrum appears before him, trying to calm the barbarian. See that up there? She's your target. If we don't stop her, we'll all die, Spectrum explains, pointing out Nyx. Monica leaps back in, noticing a second too late that whoever breaks the shard will be the one to gain the power trapped within it. Voyager, though, is still under the command of Nyx in despair, and at a word, she opens up a portal that diverts Monica, giving Nyx the time that she needs. The gem shatters and the energy swirls around the Mother of Dark. The power fills her, and at a brief moment, she sees it the house. Monica tries to attack, but she has stopped short. She can't compete with Nyx's powers now. 
The other heroes are doing no better, and Voyager is thrown away, dark shadows appearing around them, attacking the rest of the Avengers. You still have a bit of magic in you, don't you? She says, turning her gaze to Scarlet Witch. Wanda begins to scream as the goddess begins to pull the energy out of her eyes. And with a pop, Nyx disappears, leaving the team alone. Wanda can see again, turning her eyes to see Ozias is still there, beating off the despair of the innocent people. Conan steps forward, prepared to slay the beast, but Ozias calls forth a champion. And suddenly the ghost of Belite, the pirate queen, appears attacking him. And the city of Shadazar. Hercules, Spectrum, Scarlet Witch, and Vision watch as the undead spirit of Conan's lost love is now attacking him. On the planet Euphoria, Clint Barton, Rocket Raccoon, and the Immortal Hulk arrive from the Nightmare Realm to find Nyx, the mother of night, before them. This was supposed to be a vacation! Promises were made, Hulk! Rocket complains, but Hulk just tells them, Let me handle this. I have a plan. Sorrow and despair fill Conan as he watches his lost love drive a blade into his chest. Ozias, daughter of Nyx, drinks the pure emotion emanating from him, when suddenly Belite is thrown from Conan by Vision's blast as the heroes rush in to aid their new friend. The rage of the barbarian fills Conan, and he lashes out, biting into the flesh of Ozias, smashing the creature's head against the wall. On Euphoria, Nyx can sense the energy of one of the shards within the Hulk, the one that he crushed. He turns, ordering his friends to run. I don't want the raccoon skinned and you're just useless, Barton. Go! He has a point! Rocket nods, but Barton tells him to shut up and help him make a bow. He'll never run from a fight in his life. Let's go! It's Avengers Assemble, not Avengers Take 5. Conan refuses to succumb to his wounds, pushing his arm against Ozias' throat. Your magics do not impress me. Heal me and I'll grant you a swift end, he growls. But the creature of despair only feeds upon him her power growing until it explodes within the chamber. Scarlet Witch sees her love dying before her. Spectrum sees the universe growing old and ending around her. And Vision sees the grave of his daughter. Hawkeye continues to fire his new bow, only thinking about what kind of arrows they're after. One's carrying an antimatter charge capable of blowing a hole in a Kree cruiser. The other's just real sharp, Rocket explains, but Nyx's darkness snags them both out of the air as she questions what they're supposed to do to her. Get your attention! The Hulk answers as he wraps his hand around the back of her head, throwing her across the landscape. Nice throw! Rocket comments before the group is thrown by an energy blast. Nyx is through playing. No more sneering or taunting. She's throwing everything that she has at them. Back with Hercules, he falls to his knees, seeing nothing. The pain of the loss of his family is all that fills him until he hears someone crying. Next to him, Voyager huddles in a ball, crying about how she let everyone down. Hercules ignores Ozias' stings, ignoring the feeling of despair, and he struggles to his feet to go over to his friend, reaching out his hand. Voyager, you are not alone. If I can, I'd like to help. Back with the Hulk, he said he had a plan, and he did. Hit her as hard as he can. Nyx watches the Hulk. He has a portion of her power which gives him even more strength, yet he has no control over it. So she snaps her fingers. You and you alone, I rescind my gift of night. Sunlight cuts through the darkness, shining brightly upon the Hulk. Bones pop as his body begins to morph back before her, and a stunned Bruce Banner lays on the ground. Hercules helps Voyager to her feet, shielding her body from Ozias' attacks. He turns back now and sees the creature of despair for what she truly is, nothing more than a small weakling. With sudden clarity, Hercules knows his purpose, to find misery and despair and crush it. With these thoughts, he brings his boot down. The team is released from the foul images and they begin to regroup, with Conan standing at their side, prepared to aid them if they are willing. Voyager can get them to Nyx, but they need to hurry. Because the goddess has pulled her strength from Banner's body, and when she sees it again, the house, she's prepared to leave. Nyx, halt! Hercules orders as he steps through Voyager's portal. The team begins to follow him and they prepare to fight again, but now, Nyx is almost at her full power. Suddenly, the stars begin to go out in the sky above them, and the darkness fills the world! Nyx has won. Eternal night has fallen over the universe. Hercules and his team of Avengers stand ready to fight the final battle against Nyx, the Queen of Darkness, when a voice stops them. Enough! And before them stands the visage of Euphoria, the planet. For countless millennia, she has existed to make her denizens happy, to fulfill their desires. She has the ability to give the final shard, yet... You all desire that. Your warring threatens to disrupt my paradise. So the planet wonders, who needs it most? 
Hercules steps forward, imploring the lady that they need the shard for the good of the universe. I cannot speak of the universe, I am only a planet, she tells him. What is your good, godling? What is it you want? Hercules wishes to be a hero of legend once more. He does not need to boast or be funny. He merely wants to be someone who helps those in need. I see. And what do you want, Archer? Clint wants to hear music like when he was younger. He wants to be 20 again. I want a shot. One perfect shot. One good arrow. Next, Euphoria turns to Monica, who knows that the world needs light, and she wants to be that light. But not forever. I know that. Next, she questions Wanda, who wants to see Nyx's face when she takes a witch's vengeance for everything she did. And finally, she turns to the Mother of Night. Once I would have asked for acceptance, respect a home, yet now all I want is vengeance, the goddess snarls. Rocket just wants one thing that he does to go right, and then smiles as he pulls out a vial of pin particles. I forgot I stole this! Finally, she turns to Vision. I am dying. Like my wife, my son. I have all I need. Thank you. The android states simply, Conan does not understand Vision. He is not human because he is dying. He is dying because he is human. When Euphoria asks him what he wants, he simply states, What I want, Steel Devil, is for you to fight back. Banner's want is merely a mumble, unheard by the rest of the group. But Euphoria recoils. She will not end his life. Finally, Nyx threatens to destroy the planet itself and search the rebel for her lost party. Her eye is suddenly then pierced by an arrow throwing her back. One perfect shot, baby! Let's strike out the band and make some noise! Hawkeye cries. Wanda begins to pull light out from around them and funnel it through Monica. It would be too much, but Vision is there and the two combine, lashing out against Nyx together. Rocket scarfs down the pin particles, and now armed with a giant raccoon, the rest of the Avengers attack. Euphoria watches as the battle continues, knowing not how best to satisfy everyone. Give me my life! Give me my shard! The goddess screams, and finally Euphoria offers it to her. Nyx rips it from her being, and then cracking the gem, she releases its power before anyone can stop her. The heroes are all thrown aside as Nyx's true power returns. She can finally see the core of all that is, the birthplace of all that was and all that is and all that will be. The portal opens up before her, the house in the distance, and through it, she steps. The heroes struggle to get up, but the voyager's so weak, and she begs that Euphoria now hears her wish. The being looks at her, asking what her true desire is, and she tells her to be an Avenger. Yet Euphoria is unable to make that happen. Only one person can. And Voyager knows this and summons all of her remaining strength. Avengers, assemble! And the last of her power is put to one last portal. And the team rushes through it, knowing they can't be far behind Nyx. Clint can't believe it. Of all the places that Nyx could have gone in the universe, she decided to go to Long Island? The heroes all stand before the house with a strange light emitting from within, the doors opening, and Nyx stands before them, bright lights shining behind her. No more foul sorcery. Nyx will pay this night for her evils. So vows Conan! But the barbarian's words are lost as the light grows brighter and brighter, washing over all of them. The heroes rush forward, but the light is too much, and Nyx has already gone inside, the doors swinging shut behind her. Hercules rushes forward, his hand wrapped around the simple knob. I have the door. If I keep it from closing, keep even the smallest cracks of light, it is still open to us. The man was born of a combination of myth and reality, and he uses all of his considerable strength, yet it is not enough. The door begins to close. Vision, do you hear me? The door is still open. Hercules holds it for just a moment longer as Vision leaps forward, phasing through it, through the door itself. Within the house, Vision stands in utter blankness. His being shifts as if the very idea is changing. His degradation has ended and he is whole once again and he remembers this house. The house, a dark voice says from behind. As Nyx's darkness begins to swirl and fill the blank space. The dwelling space of the very fundamental creative force of this reality, one above all others. Vision is confused. The ultimate force of creation lives on Long Island. But Nyx explains that the house has many doorways. And now Nyx will use the house to remake creation. A reality made in her image. A cosmos of eternal night. Beautiful and silent. You would overwrite creation in creation's own house. Some would see that as hubris, Vision observes. Yet Nyx believes that she is simply playing out the role that she was born for. I think my role is to save it, Vision says with a smile. Yet Nyx doesn't believe that he can. She is mankind's first darkness. She is a primal force greater than even the gods. What is he? A synthetic man, no more. He confirms standing before her mighty strength. Yet he has heard stories and been a part of them. 
His database contains the Avengers files, a history of every hero that has fought against the darkness. Here in this house of ideas, I find myself wondering, how would they stop you? This is a house with no windows, yet every story is a window. Here in this house, where the stories are born, they are infinite. From his window, the champions appear, heroes to do battle against a primal force for the sake of all creation. Mutants, marvels, champions, and heroes. Creation comes from light, not dark. Vision explains as the heroes begin to attack. Darkness is an ending, the shuddering of ideas. More heroes join the battle, from the past to the present, and Nyx begins to fall under the strength of the combined forces. You cannot win here. You are playing against the house, Vision explains. The house of ideas. Nyx begins to shrink against the assault, and she falls. Vision now ablaze reaches out to her, taking her hand and watching as the flames eat away at her darkness. She curses him as she dissolves, for she will always be on the other side of his light. Vision steps through the doorway, meeting his friends at the front step of the house. Her darkness was rejected by the light within. Clint can't believe it. An evil god was defeated by a house. The light has returned to the universe. The light of pure possibility. Every world in creation has returned under the rays of their suns. The world has returned to normal. Monica returns to help out her team in their fight against the supervillains. Bruce returns to wander the backwards of America. Rocket spends his time in a dive bar in some back corner of the galaxy, crossing being an Avenger off his bucket list. In Los Angeles, Clint, Wando, Vision, and Brother Voodoo sit around a diner, the old friends catching up and discussing what will happen next. Hopefully, their friend Hercules will find peace with the gods of Olympus now gone, yet Vision isn't sure that they are truly gone. They are potent myths woven into our collective reality. I do not believe that the universe is ready to let them go yet. And somewhere, in space, beyond space, an ancient city rises above the clouds, energy exploding from its towers. The wheel has turned. Zeus and his people are born again. The mighty thunder god atones. Let the stars tremble. Where did Conan end up? Wanda knows that he was a murderer and a vagabond, but he followed a code. Blood coats Conan's skin as he brings his sword down for the killing blow. He falls exhausted, the beast dead before him. You thought yourself worthy of my flesh and long jaw, but my bite was deeper. He pulls himself free, preparing to gut the kill to sustain himself on its meat. It feels good for Conan to be driving his weapon into something. It dying as it should. I've had enough of cursed witches, crazed golems, and dark gods of a, for a lifetime. The barbarian has simple needs. Give him something sharp and a foe to find it. The ground shakes as the mighty beasts of the savage land appear before him. The barbarian turns, smiling. That'll do. That concludes Avengers No Road Home. It feels more open-ended than any of our other storylines, but that is the actual conclusion to this Avengers team. Now, in the normal main timeline Avengers storyline, there is already a different Avengers team, so I don't think we'll be seeing this one come back at all. But it is interesting to see Conan being brought into the Marvel Universe. And following this, I believe it's the Savage Avengers or the Dark Avengers. He's on an Avengers team as of the War of the Realm. So make sure you go check that out. We're going to be covering it very soon. If you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe to the Comic Story and channel to keep up the date in your favorite comic books, video games, and movies lore so you can go watch the next one. And don't forget you can follow me on Twitter at Comic Storian where I just rant and rave about comic books every little day that it happens. Hope to see you there and I'll see you next time right here. Yeah.